If you're curious about mahjong, the best place to start is Hong Kong style. Hong Kong style has the simplest form of scoring. So it's really easy to learn how to play. It's quite like Remy, where you get four sets in a pair. The sets can either be three in a sequence or three of a kind. There's a link below the video to the lesson playlist, and you can download this player reference that has instructions on the back and scoring on the inside. I'm gonna play solitaire so you can see what it's like to play. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you don't miss anything. Let's play Solitaire. I have all my tiles out to the left here. They've been built into walls. I'm going to take 14 tiles for east. Then I'll take 13 for south, west, and north. Okay, everybody has the right number of tiles. So let's look and see what we can do for east. Let's say that there's a two fawn minimum. Two fawn. So a fawn is like a scoring element. You could consider it a point as well. So let's say that we need two fawn. One fawn might be all chows. A chow is three in a sequence. So we don't have an example of a chow in here yet, but we do have a potential chow right here, three, four. Here's a potential chow with a six, eight. There's a potential chow with an eight, nine. There's also pairs in here. We have one, actually, one pair, the nine, nine crack. This is a potential pung. Pung is three of a kind. So you need four sets and a pair. The sets could be either three in a sequence or three of a kind, or four of a kind, because there's four of everything. So for this particular player, I think probably all chow, which is one fawn, would be a good way to use these tiles because we're really set up for all chows. We need a pair in here, so you need four sets and a pair. So we really have just two isolated tiles. All these are potential chow. Well, this one's a pair. So one, two, three, four, five potential chows in a pair. That doesn't necessarily mean that that is going to be a winner though. So let's see what we can do. We still have to come up with another fawn in here too. So let's look and see what we can do for south. So for south, they only have four discards to get to a half flush. A half flush is one suit with winds and dragons. This is a white dragon, red dragon. This is a west wind. So we have a not really nice potential there for a half flush. I think that's what I would do for them. A half flush is three fawn. So that would meet the minimum. Let's see what we can do for west. They have a flower. This is a bonus tile. This is numbered one through four, and we have a one. This is player three. East is one, south is two, west is three. So this is a one flower. This is not going to give them score. If this had been a three flower, they would have gotten a fawn for that. So we're just going to put this to the side and get a replacement. So they have more BAMs than they do anything else. And they have single honors. 
they do have a pair in here. I think I would try for a half flush for these tiles too, even though they have five discards. Let's see if we can get them to a half flush too. Let's see what we can do for North. They have two flowers, a two and a four. So they have their own flower. That's a fawn right there. So we're going to get two replacements for them. Okay, they have a lot of wins. Look at this. Pair of south, pair of east, a north. There's a pair of four cracks, dragons. I think we should have them play a half flush too with cracks. They only have two discards to clear to a half flush. Okay, so let's go ahead and start by discarding. We'll discard this eight bam. I think I'm gonna run out of room. I'm gonna discard to the lower right for this player. This player will be above east and so on. And then we'll put the exposures to the right as well. So let's draw for south. Ooh, two dot. That's gonna help them get to a half flush. Let's discard the six crack. And draw for this player here. I think we should get them to a half flush with bams. So I would not chow that. This is a four or five. That six crack could make this a four, five, six or even a five, six, seven, but all chow is only one fawn. And right now they have a one flower, which is no score for them. So all chow is not gonna work for Wes. They need to go for a higher scoring hand to qualify for two fawn. So they have another pair. Now all three of a kind is three fawn. So we could stick with maybe pairs so that we could potentially pung. Let's go ahead and discard the five crack. And we can draw for this player here. Now for this player, we can take that for a chow. Chows will draw your score down though. If we have a potential pung with the south, potential pung with the east, potential pung with the four crack. I'm kind of thinking I'll, I'm going to let that go. Actually, I take that back. Let's chow. Let's chow for the quickest win possible because they already have a fawn with their flower. So having a lower score with a chow in there is not going to hurt too badly. So I'm going to go ahead and chow. And then we can discard the one dot. And we can draw for player one. Okay, there's a four. Now we have two pair here. Three, four, let's see, eight, nine, eight, nine, four, five, one, two. There's a pair. Let's get rid of this three crack. That's kind of an outlier and we can draw for this player here, south. Three bam, we need to get dots. So let's go ahead and discard the six bam. And we can draw for west, south. We can keep that. Let's discard the seven crack. And let's draw for north. Flower, that's a one flower, so that's not gonna help them with score anyway. Five bam, so we're looking for cracks, so we're gonna go ahead and discard this five bam. And we can draw for this player here. Now they have no flowers right now. No flowers is a fawn. If we play all chow, we could potentially take that for a, a chow here. 
The minute they draw a flower though, they're in trouble and there's already two of their flowers out. So if they draw a flower that is not theirs, there's no way they can win if they commit to all chows. So I think I would rather draw. Okay, they drew a north. So at this point, I think we should try to get them to a half flush also. Either that or all pung. So I would hold those bands and the cracks. Let's get rid of the three band. Maybe we could pair up and then pung. All pung is three fawn. So that would get them to meet the minimum if we went with all pung. So three bam was discarded. We're trying for dots here. So I'm not gonna be tempted to take it for a three of a kind here. I'm gonna draw nine dot. So that's a keeper. There's a potential chow. Here's a chow right there. There's a pair. That's kind of isolated, but you can kind of rearrange these until something works. So if we just rearrange a little bit, you can see here's a two, three, four. There's a potential chow, potential chow, and an isolated tile. So obviously we need more dots in here, but it's coming together. So let's go ahead and discard this five bam. And we can draw for this player here. Now this player, they could pung that. And punging is a good thing. All pung. If we can pair up those honors, that would be even better because typically honors can bring you score. I'm going to go ahead and pung for West. So we're going to try to go for all pung for West. Maybe even one suit with honors. We'll see. We can get rid of these right here though. Four dot. And nobody can take a four dot. So we're going to draw four North. Six bam. We can discard that. They need, they need cracks. So we're going to draw four East. One dot. That's going to be helpful for them because we can pung that, chow that, chow that. We need something in here. We can get rid of this though. Six crack. And let's draw four south. They got a south, which is good. If you get three of a kind of your seat wind, you can get a fawn for that. So this is player south and that's the south wind. So that's a good keeper for them. Let's discard the three bam. And draw four west. Nine bam. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. We may have to sacrifice the cracks to get them to a half flush. Let's discard the seven dot. And we can draw four north. Oh, they got a west. Okay, we need to pair them up though. You can't do anything with single winds and dragons with only one exception. And I'll share that another time. Here's a seven bam. We'll discard that. Nobody can take a seven bam, so we're going to draw for east. Oh, we got a pung now, three of a kind right there. So they have two pair here. Those can become pungs. Any pair is a potential pung. Let's go ahead and throw this eight crack and draw four south. Oh, eight dot, very nice. So they have a chow here. Here's a chow. There's a potential pung. This is isolated. We can get rid of this three bam. And we can draw four west. Two crack. Let's discard that. And draw four north. Five crack. That was a good keeper because they could potentially chow. So we need to start discarding. Let's see, north. This is their seat wind. The west we could probably throw. The green and the red dragon. Those could potentially bring score because any three of a kind of dragons can bring a, a score, a fawn for each pung of dragons. Let's go ahead and discard. Wow, if we pair up, we could do all honors. All honors, which is a nice high scoring hand. Let's see. All honors. 
That's 10 fawn. That's the highest score you can get. We only have two pair there though. Now, I think they we would need more pairs to commit to that. Let's do a half flesh. They already have a chow, so we need to stick with the plan. Let's go ahead and get rid of the west. And we can draw four east. Two crack. Two crack's been discarded. Let's discard that then. And draw four south. Oh, two dot. Nice. Two, three. Here's a two, three, two potential pungs. West was discarded. Let's throw that. And we can draw four west. Oh, green dragon. That's a good tile. They could pung that maybe. We need to fill in here. These are all isolated. So there's nothing we could do there yet. We already have a pung of five bams. This could be punged. This could be punged. All pung is three fawn. If we get a pung of green dragons, that would be another fawn. So let's go ahead and discard this two bam. Let's go for all pung for them. It's okay to mix suits with all pung. If you're doing chows, you don't want to mix suits because that will drive your score down. Okay, so we discarded a two bam. We're going to draw four north. Eight dot. That's a discard. And we can draw four east. One crack. We'll discard that. Drawing for south. Okay, they got a west. We're going to discard that. That's the third time that's been thrown. Let's draw for west. One crack. That's been thrown already. Let's draw for north. East. So now they have a pung. So let's go ahead and keep the north. Let's discard the green dragon. And West is going to pung the green dragon. So East and South get skipped. So we need to pair these tiles up here. There's already three Wests out, so let's discard the West. And we'll draw four North. One dot, that's a discard. We're going to draw four. Oh, wait, one dot. Let's pung. Okay, so we're going to commit to dots or pungs. Pungs, that's what we were going to do because we have a pung here, a pung here, or a potential pung. So let's discard the four dot. There's already one out. And we can draw for this player here. Now this player can chow. If we do a two, three, four, here's a two, three, we could do four. Here's a chow. Let's see here. We have chow, chow. These are two potential pungs. One, two, three, four, and then we need a pair. I think if we take that chow, let's see, we have a chow, take that chow. Here's a chow, or there's a chow. We still need to chow. Or we could stay concealed and pung one, two, three, four. I think I'd rather draw and see if we can maybe pair up an honor. Two ban, that's a discard. One of these honors could give them score. Let's draw for west. Seven crack, we can discard that. And draw for north. Three flower. Okay, three crack. They have a chow. Three, four, five. This could maybe be a pair. Let's get rid of the red dragon. And we can draw four east. Three crack. That's not going to be helpful. I don't think any of these are out yet, though. Let's just get rid of the north before somebody pairs up. So north is discarded. Nobody can take it. We're going to draw for south. One bam. 
That's not a keeper. Nobody can take a one BAM, so we'll draw four west. Four BAM, that has been discarded already, has it not? No. Let's see, six BAM, that's been discarded. Well, let's draw four north, seven dot. We can discard that. We need cracks or a north. We could pung that south maybe. Ooh, these could be a pung. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's draw four east. Seven bam. Seven bam is a good discard and we can draw four south. Ooh, five dot, that's a keeper. Now we have two, three, four, five, let's see, three, four, five. There's, all the ones are out, so there's gonna be no chow potential with a one, two, three. So let's go ahead and discard this red dragon. So that was for south, and we can draw for west. Six crack, uh, let's see here. None of these are out. We'll just discard the six crack, because these aren't out either. Let's draw for north, six dot, discard. And nobody can take the six dot, so we'll draw four east. Oh, they got a six dot. That's really good, because now they have an eight nine for a potential chow. Five six, potential chow. This is isolated. Uh, no, you know what? I keep forgetting. We're playing all pung here. Let's discard the three crack. All pung, we need to pair up. Okay, so let's draw four south. Nine crack, that's a discard. Nine crack, and we're gonna pung it for east. So now they have two pungs. And we need to discard. So an eight dot has been discarded, so has a six dot. So let's go ahead and discard the eight dot and we can draw for south. I was just thinking they have three pair. So I threw an eight dot. If we chow the eight dot, we could have a chow here, potential chow here. Then here we could have two potential chows because here's the three, four, five, and then here would be a potential three, four, five. And then we have a potential pung. So let's go ahead and chow. Wait, yeah, this is for south. So we'll chow. And then we can go ahead and discard. Let's discard the south. And north is gonna pung it. So north needs to discard. Let's discard the north. And they are ready to win on a one crack. Three, four, five, Punga east. They have a chow out, four, five, six, and a Pung of south. Okay, we're gonna draw for east. North, which was just discarded and we can draw four south, five crack, discard. Let's draw four west, nine dot. Let's see, south was punged. This is doing them no good. Let's discard that and draw four north. Oh, two crack. Let's see, there are two one cracks out I think if we maybe, let's look and see if any four cracks or five cracks are out. 
neither are out. No, there's there's a four crack and a five crack, one each in, nope, there's a five crack out as a discard and there's a five crack out in an exposure. So always look at the discards as well as exposures to count how many are left available for a win, let's say. So I think the five crack will be a good discard. Because then they could be ready on a four crack. So let's discard the five crack. And actually they're still ready to win on either a four crack or a one crack because they could switch one, two, three, two, three, four, either way. So they're ready on a one crack or a four crack. So let's draw four east. Eight crack. Eight crack has been discarded. Let's discard the eight crack. And we can draw four south. Two bam, discard. Drawing for west. Eight crack, that's a discard. And let's draw for north, eight dot, discard. Drawing for east, one bam, we can discard that. And we can draw for south, five crack, discard. Oh, they went the wrong way. Okay, we're gonna draw for west. One crack, that is a discard. Now, there are two one, crack, two one cracks out. There are no nine dots out, no four bams out, no nine bams out. There is, let's see here, how many red dragons are out? There are two red dragons, no white dragons. I think I would throw the one crack. One crack, and that would be Mahjong for North, pear, chow, chow, pung, pung. And they have their own flower. So we have a mixture of chows and pungs, but we have a half flesh. Half flesh is three fawn. So if you have three fawn plus your own flower, that's four fawn. And the other thing that I forgot to mention is the game is played in rounds. We'll just say this was east round. Since they have a pung of east, they would get a fawn for that also. So we would have three for a half flesh, one for their flower and one for their wind the east round wind. So that would be three, four, five fawn, which is a really nice hand actually. Let me know what you think about solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you have a set at home, try it yourself and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, click subscribe. And then click the bell when you do so that you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new style of Mahjong. Or maybe, if you already know how to play, learn a new strategy or pick up an inside of the game that will give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next solitaire for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.